got hacked. Epic, Epic just got hacked. Actually, we have no freaking idea if Epic was hacked or not, but let's find out. Because this is this is kind of ridiculous, all right? Uh, people making claims that Epic was hacked, all right? And now, who knows? Because Dexerto, uh, because, okay, first, yesterday, and this was yesterday, it was like 15 hours ago, uh, we found out from AU, right here, Fortnite game developer Epic Games allegedly hacked. That was 16 hours ago. I didn't even know about this until today when I saw it on Drama Alert. Reload. Reload. Can't secure... Why? Invalid. Uh, okay, I was watching... I was just reading this on my phone. How am I not reading it on, on here? Uh. Cyber Daily sent an invalid response. That makes no sense. I was, whatever. Is it because it's from Australia? Yeah, it's probably because it's from Australia. Well, I, I guess we can just go to Dex Erdo. Did Dex Erdo drop a thing on it? I think they did. Or was it just... Maybe this was from X. It is from X. Okay. So, um, now I found out earlier from Drama Alert that they had done this. Okay. And everybody's... Uh, Okay, so this is what I saw. <laughs> Epic Games has been targeted in a hacking incident by the Mogilevich gang, allegedly. Details of the supposed breach were posted on their Darknet leak site. All creators, players, change your passwords immediately. The group asserts possession of 189 gigabytes of data, which isn't that much, by the way. That's not a lot. All right, in the Graham's grand scheme of things, that's not a lot of information. Passwords, email addresses, full names, payment details, source code, and various other data types. This data is currently being offered for sale. This breach has yet to be fully confirmed, but it is still best practice to regularly cycle your passwords. 100%. I want to stress this. You definitely need to be changing your password and adding some sort of two-form uh, authenticator, okay? Uh, get that, uh, there's anything. There's like a Google thing for free. There's a lot of stuff out there for free that you could two-form authenticate who you are. Uh, I do mine through my phone. So it sends my phone, uh, one of my two phones, I've got two phones. Uh, <laughs> it sends them a, like a, a text message. And I got to put that text message in to make sure it's me, <clears throat> Because you know what your phone has? Your phone can scan your face. It's fantastic. Your, your phone can scan your face. So Mogilevich says this. Our Telegram account and channel will be inactive forever for affiliates' privacy. We moved our support 24-7 only on talks. Don't know what that is. You can work with us free as pen tester if you want to make more. Okay, whatever. So Epic Games, 2.27.24. Revenue, 5.8 billion gross revenue. We have quietly carried out an attack to Epic Games servers. Category, video game publisher and software developer. Data, compromised, emails, passwords, full name, payment information, source code, and many other data included. Size, 189 gigabytes. Data is also for sale. Deadline, 3-4-24. So they have until March 4-24. I don't know what the deadline is, but they have a deadline. <coughs> Wait, I'd, Epic has been hacked. Does that mean my Fortnite account could get affected? Freddy, the best thing I could tell you is... Uh, by the way, Epic has a response to this. They say they have no idea if this is credible or not. They just don't know. They're investigating. Uh, we, don't, we, won't, we probably won't hear back from them for a while. But uh, it's only 189 gigabytes. Okay, that might seem like a lot. And it is a lot. If it's just text. But it's not. You know, like... Uh, they should literally have petabytes of information. Petabytes of information. So, I don't know, okay? And, and by the way, this is just some hacker group. There are literal millions of hacker groups out there. there I mean, just <laughs> Africa and India alone. Insane amounts. <clears throat> If you are an employee of the company or someone who would like to buy the data, click on me. Okay, they've also got Ireland's Department of Foreign Affairs. 
Who cares? Okay, we care about the epic games. Nobody cares about Ireland's Department of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> I will love me versus you tonight online. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I don't know what's, what that's about. Wait, is Fortnite servers online? Because, no, no, no. They didn't, they didn't shut down the servers, okay? They hacked the servers. And they said they did. Fort uh, um, Epic had a response that says we don't we don't know if any of this is credible, okay? <clears throat> but what they what they're supposing that they have is email, passwords, full name, payment information, source code, and many other data included. It's 189 gigabytes. Now I imagine the hackers steal your skins. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they go to everyone's account and just start stealing skins? It makes no sense. What happened? Okay, so what happened was uh, that Epic possibly got hacked yesterday. And it was a pretty sizable hack, 189 gigabytes. It's bigger than the hack that happened over at PlayStation last year. Remember that nonsense? And they didn't even get any of our information. They got the company's information, and it was old information. Nobody cared about that. This information, possibly, possibly, because Epic, we're going to get to Epic's response here now, but um, the data that they possibly have is email, passwords, full name, payment information, <clears throat> source code, and many other data included. So, cap. Yeah, it could be. Josh, it could be. And one hundred percent. And actually, that's what. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go on over to what uh, Epic said. <clears throat> I, I just need Epic. C can I not just get Epic? Please tell me they didn't get Epic. No, not Epic Games. <laughs> I don't need the game store. Where's I don't think that's epic. Which one's epic? What is this? They're pulling a stunt? They could be. <clears throat> yeah, so I saw this one by Drama Alert. And then uh, Dexerto. Let's go down to Dexerto. Let's, let's, let's check out Dexerto. <clears throat> Convince my grandma that Rainbow Six Siege was a body cam footage of a SWAT team. <laughs> <clears throat> they just released a statement. Where's their stuff at? Oh, here we go. Okay. So 55 minutes ago, they said Epic Games has issued a statement in response to an alleged ransomware attack. We are investigating, but there's currently zero evidence that these claims are legitimate. Uh, so there you go. So there's zero evidence that these claims are legitimate. Now, but they are investigating. They are investigating. So they'll give you, they'll update us. I guarantee you more than Sony does. Okay, uh, because like it took what like a week, two weeks before we got anything out of Sony. I'm sure they'll give us like a full rundown today. But <clears throat> I mean the claims are pretty vast. They're they're vast claims. Not my skins. Recreate the Drake video. Is it, well? Is that actually Dylan Page? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Dylan, what's up? Everyone, go follow Dylan Page right now, or you're all getting you're, you're all getting booted out. Everyone, go follow Dylan Page, or you're all getting blocked. I'm I'm not kidding. All of you, right now, he's in the chat. You go and follow him, or you're all getting blocked. You will get blocked right now, all of you. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you think I care about you? No, I care about Dylan Page. Go follow Dylan. <laughs> Recreate the Drake video. I can't even recreate Drake's hair, Dylan. I can't even recreate Drake's hair. 
You <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, trust me. Trust me. I wish I, in that one aspect, I wish. All right? I don't I don't want the hair. Give me that. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yeah, but Dylan, there's there's no credibility to this hack, okay? Uh, Freaking Epic released a statement on it, but all I see is, like, if you go over to Drama Alert. Uh, let's get back to Drama Alert. Yeah, it's the major PSA. <laughs> Epic Games has been targeted in a hacking incident by Mogilevich. Uh, and it's like, it's all of this. But... Epic said there's no credibility. We are investigating, but there's no credibility. So, it's it's insane. It's crazy. Uh, do you best Anita Max Win impression, please? I don't know what Anita Max Win is. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, there is no evidence. There's none. This group claims they have 189 gigabytes of... Of emails, passwords, full name, payment information, source code, and many other data included from Epic. But there's nothing. There's nothing. <clears throat> How old is this information that they have? Was this from a previous hack? We don't know. Uh, and then Epic dropped a statement. <clears throat> Which, I, I don't know why I can't find Epic right now. Epic should be, like, here, right? Epic should have its own thing. It's it's just not here. Wait, wait a minute, why is there gear 5th in Epic? I don't know why that is, but that's fantastic. <clears throat> Listen, I think this is all fake. Can I just be honest with you? I think this is 100% fake. Alright, so yeah... This Megalovich group says that they've got 189 gigabytes for sale. All right. But Epic said that there's zero credibility here. Zero. News updates for real. <laughs> well, hey, hey, uh, hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hacked them, boys. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This is, uh, but they said, show us your hair from your the PFP. Now, a friend of mine, Nick, he also does the news. He 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 did that in a uh, in a text message. So then I use it as my PFP. Sometimes I take take jokes and make it my PFP. But I think the joke here is that Meg Mogilevich Mogilevich, I call him Megalovich, is saying that they hacked Epic. I think that's the joke here. I mean, I, listen, there's there's the white hats and the black hats. Okay, the black hats are the people that are always trying to hack into companies. The White Hats, a friend of mine's a White Hat for a massive company. He won't tell me what company, though, but he's living a very lavish lifestyle compared to just a couple months ago when he wasn't. Uh, <clears throat> he does cybersecurity. And they're, by the way, Epic, Sony, they're all getting hacked every day. Every day. And by the way, thank you for the Donos news updates. You don't have to donate. I appreciate you, man. They're getting hacked every day. So the White Hats are just sitting there fighting an ongoing battle. It, it's like uh, it's like Hell Divers out there in the universe, the Galactic War. Well, these are wars being happening every day to the companies, uh, these massive companies, Epic, uh, Sony, all of them, and they get hacked every day. But the thing is, is that how much information are they getting from these hacks? So. This person says, or this group claims, that they have 189 gigabytes for sale. And the deadline is March 4th, 2024. So in five days. What does that mean? Or no, do we have a 29th this year? Hold on. I think we have a 29th this year. We have, <coughs> we have a 29th this year. So in six days, what is the, they're going to just drop the information? Like, how does that work? Let's get him to 6,000 likes. Oh, don't worry about my likes. I'm going to be throwing this up on my YT. Guys, if you can do me a favor, go sub, you know, uh, sub to my YT. That'd be fantastic. Um, because right now, hey, let me tell you, TikTok, not paying me anything for my views right now. I'm just posting these videos for fun because my, al my RPM drops to less than a cent halfway through my month, every month since October, ever since they dropped the TikTok shop. So, uh, so anyway, Epic Games... RPM is how you get paid. I'm, I'm making uh, 80 cents a day now because of uh, TikTok. <laughs> Off my millions. My millions of views that I get them every day. Uh, but yeah, no. De uh, Dexerto said they have a statement from Epic. And Epic said, nope, zero credibility. Zero. 
Oh, look at that baby! Just went down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, guys, uh, Jinxie's got a podcast now. You all need to check out Jinxie's podcast. He had Moist Critical on this one. I watched this whole one. Uh, you know what? After this, after I upload this to YT, I'm going to go back live and we're going to watch this podcast. It's fantastic. Because um, they're, they're talking about the downfall of Kick. Kick is really going down this spiral of allowing uh, uh, predators on their on their stuff. Literal predators. And kids are eating this up, and they're literally getting eaten up by these predators. They're just joking that they're predators. Joke about being a predator in jail. See how far that gets you. I'm j- Just go ahead. Joke about being a predator in jail. Because, hey, once you get to jail, how are you going to hide being a predator? That's, you know, that's, that's the problem. <clears throat> but, yeah, Epic Games has issued a statement in response to an alleged ransomware hack. We are investigating, but there is currently... Zero evidence. This was from an hour ago. Zero evidence that these claims are legitimate. No evidence. So, should you change your passwords? Yes. But, there's probably nothing here. Okay? I'm just letting you guys know there's probably nothing here. Epic did get hacked. Maybe. We don't freaking know because there's zero evidence from Epic. I'm sure Epic would have to, like, contractually let us know that they got hacked. (laughs) You know? And by the way, this news... uh, Let me go back. I should just open another window. Who cares? Come on, man. Come on, Epic hacked. Come on. Need to start using my big boy voice. This information was around 16 hours ago, by the way. 16 hours ago. It didn't get hacked. Yeah, there's zero evidence for it. KFC is number one. K- hey, you know what? KFC is number one. They got the cheese up. That's the chicken pizza. <laughs> the pizza chicken. They got the cheese going on, okay? I love I love the pizza on my chicken. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's good. How did you try it? Well, we're not going to get into that. You know, I was in the army. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> you do, um, I'm just going to let you guys know. All right. When you're in the military, you do, uh, not everybody, I would say a majority of the people do a lot of drinking uh, when you've got free time. Because you don't know when you're going to die. You know, who cares? So uh, you start just putting stuff on stuff. And sometimes you put pizza topping on your chicken. And it tastes good. So now KFC is literally doing that for us. Thank you, KFC. But let's get back to the... (laughs) Refresh right now. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Facts. There's nothing wrong. Uh, KSI versus Jake Paul is finally happening. That's that's plus. That's a huge plus. If you are high risk, don't wait for these leaks to go public if they are indeed true. Okay. So, but you know, the problem is though, uh, you should definitely, you should definitely get these things taken care of. KFC gravy on top low, on top. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about putting gravy, Freddy. I didn't even think about putting freaking gravy on my cheesa. I hey W's in chat for KFC gravy. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm gonna jump off this. Then we're gonna jump onto the Jinxy podcast because it's fa- fantastic, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch the one about Moist Critical. All right, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Peace. <clears throat>